This shirt does not smell good. I probably should have thrown it away months ago, but I can't because it's attached to a memory. And Dak Draper is not the kind of guy that goes and throws a memory in the trash can. You see, this is a memory about when I started. I started out in Rocky Mountain Pro, and I started out in the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy before it was the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy. We didn't have white shirts, we didn't have black shirts. I'd say I was probably a no shirt because sometimes Matt Yaden would make us do practice matches without shirts on. But then I had to leave Rocky Mountain Pro rather abruptly and I missed everything. I missed being able to train consistently at a high level. I missed appearing on charge every week and the thing I missed the most was the people. And then one day I finally couldn't bear it anymore and I messaged Matt and I said, hey, can I come in for just one workout? And I came in that day, I rolled around the ring and uh, at the end of the day, Matt asked me, hey, you wanna come back tomorrow? I told him that I would love to and he reached into his bag and he pulled out this black shirt and he threw it to me. And that was the first uh, Rocky Mountain Pro or Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy shirt I ever got. And I'll never forget that. So when I come back to Rocky Mountain Pro, to Charged, to the Aces Wild Tournament, I promise that I will be making memories that you will never forget. And if you miss it, then shame on you. To the Wimmer Arena here in Inglewood, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Charge. I'm Rocky Mountain Pro President Danger Dean alongside D'Lo Brown. And D'Lo, we are kicking things off in a big, big way. We've got the Rocky Mountain Dragon Atiba making his way to the ring. I gotta tell you right now, Atiba is. Atiba's not as intense as a fourth and goal play at the one. Well, this, my friend, is a return here to Rocky Mountain Pro. I can tell you that I have been excited about since I've made the phone call, since he agreed, the return to Rocky Mountain Pro, ladies and gentlemen. Dak Draper, baby. To Rocky Mountain Pro. Buddy back here in Rocky Mountain Pro against Atiba. And if there's one guy that I know that can shut up the mouth and change the attitude, it is my man, Dak Draper. Draper has been a busy, busy man as of late. You've seen him in Ring of Honor. You've seen him in uh, NWA and happy to have him back here in Rocky Mountain Pro. And that's what you do as a seasoned vet, going out there, touring the world, taking your talents around, gaining experience, and then coming back home and showing the world how you improved. Two former RMP champions doing battle to kick things off here on, on Charged. And Draper right now in full control, taking that arm of Atiba. Atiba with that quick roll up. And as much as the attitude has changed on Atiba, and as much as you can disagree with the things he's done, you cannot take away from the athleticism here of Atiba. Now, I gotta tell you, I'm doing some research, and it's the first ever meeting between these two guys ever. And quickness, both men trying to get that quick pin. So it looks like a small feeling out process here. Only a one count from Atiba. Dak Draper matches that with a one of his own. And there you go. Both of these men looking for an early victory and the Wimmer Arena loving what they've seen. Oh, and Draper was trying to acknowledge Atiba and Atiba just took the shortcut. Once upon a time, this would have been a moment for Atiba to show some of that mutual respect. And I don't even know the guy in the ring anymore. Go look at that. No, look, maintaining control, barrel roll. Barrel roll to an alligator roll back to another. Uh, looking for another barrel roll. No, front chancery. Wow. This is that, that amateur background that Dak Draper possesses. Very few do it better than Draper. And a good old, how's your mother? Irish whip. Atiba going for the reversal. Draper reversing the reversal. Reverse Uno card. Uh, 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 draw two. 
drop down. Big leapfrog there. Oh, leap over. What the? What? Wow. Love the trip there. I am so impressed with Draper here. Oh, hands Look at that. knee drop. Right to the chin of Atiba. Pinpoint precision. Welcome back indeed. Atiba showing some quickness there. Little distraction there. Draper concentrating on that crowd. Oh. Allowing Atiba to get that upper hand. Looks like a form of a zigzag there. Only a one count. This is the best Dak Draper has looked in his entire career. You want to talk about a man who is focused? Dak Draper is that man. And look at Draper. He is in great condition. You can tell his amateur wrestling background. He shows it all the time. But now Atiba don't care about the amateur background. He's taking it right to Draper. A choke is going to be effective in any sport. Fully taking advantage of that five count, releasing just before that disqualification. Nice shotgun elbow there by Drake, but it had very little effect on Atiba. What a way to kick things off here on Charged. You are seeing some of the best athletes in the world doing battle right here at the Wimmer Arena in Inglewood, Colorado. Now, roll through. Quick pin, only a two count there. Oh! What a kick to the side of the head. See, right there was a little diss. Diss foot. Not these, diss. Only one, oh, only foot, one. Uh, singular, not plural. And Atiba has something up his sleeve. Oh. Going for that big kick, Dak Draper sniffed it out. And look at it, slide through the legs. Maintains control, but no! Going Atiba. for that headlock, very nice evasive. Maneuver there, ducking the Insiguri, big clothesline. And the follow up, two big clotheslines. Drop kick, shotgun drop kick. You want to talk about athleticism, that is a six foot five tall gentleman throwing drop kicks around like they're absolutely nothing. Draper shoots off Atiba. Picks him up, side suplex. Oh, into a bulldog slam, cover. Got him! No! I can't believe Atiba kicked out of that. Oh, I can't either. That was a strong kick out. Dak Draper in control. Atiba trying to figure out how he can change the tide here. Get the momentum going in his direction. Draper taking it to the corner here. We could see the, the big, uh, no. No, it's Atiba smartly locking onto the leg there of Draper, not allowing Draper to get any kind of leverage. Going for that Draper bomb. Atiba holding onto the ropes. Wisely holding onto those ropes. Yeah, now we're in a fireman's carry position. Dak has him up on the shoulders. What does he have in store? Oh, oh. And Atiba going right for those eyes. Atiba going back to the ropes again. <laughs> Holding on to the ropes. Hanging on for, life. yeah, I was just about to say, does not want to let go. Oh, no, come on. Atiba, no. no. Un Why? Unfortunately, this is what we've become accustomed to seeing Atiba. Now he finishes matches. See, once is an accident. I don't know, three or four or five times in a damn pattern. A team is doing this, and this is ridiculous. Not even getting himself the victory, D'Lo, you have to ask yourself, what is Atiba doing? I... Why? What? Why? Not accomplishing anything. You lost the match. You did it with, with no grace. Respected his entire history, his lineage here in Rocky Mountain Pro.